perfectly optimal stuff. He's getting 30%. Like, he's just getting 30, 30, 30. And then you get down tilt up air, you get down tilt up smash, and you're just dead. He definitely seems like a nickel and dimer, but that's yeah. not a problem. No, I mean, it's you, know. you, you just spit out um, damage as a, as a Gappy. Well, now we're going to see it. Game one, losers finals, playing for third place, trying to make it two grands to meet against Kairos. We're going to see uh, Gappy Andrew right now. Uh, gets the nair there. That's a big start for Gappy. You need to get those reversal aerials and catches the side B there. Tries to go for a grab, but Andrew able to spot dodge in time. The up air, yeah, that's going to be very... I think it's a lot harder to hit on those floatier characters, but Andrew still, you know, now he's like, okay, if I can't get the knee, I'll just keep up airing you. Falcon can't really edge guard this character. I wonder if Andrew is going to be able to get any of those uh, drop down knees, those soft hits or anything to try to, like, contest. I think he needs to... Do it. Outplay him in neutral to get the kill again in the middle of the stage. It's it's gonna be so. I don't really think it's even worth go, trying to go off stage against yeah, him. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Yeah, though. he like he'll check the very basic lazy recoveries. He'll jump out there and say, you know, I'm willing to back here you. But besides that, I don't think he's really gonna be trying to go for much else than that. Stop up there, not enough to kill. 154 percent. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna have to respect the ledge. That's really big for Sora. That's a really good thing to kind of be aware of. But the gentleman's jab taking the first stock of the set here. Still super close. Not a really uh, big deficit to, to make up from. That was the first way that Gappy racked percent up in this set was reversing off the ledge, catching Adric, um, you know, messing up his ledge trap. But as we said, he wasn't going to edge guard. He's still. Oh! Adric? He's, a, he's alive. He's fine. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wait! He has started! He did the he thing did we it. said he couldn't do! He did it! He figured it out! We're all liars! Okay, yeah, Andrew going for another stomp. You know, he's like, oh, you know, we either end this here or we go up two socks to one. That's ridiculous. I... <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't know how he, he did the thing that uh, we said he wouldn't do. Almost finding the stock there. He went for it again. Andrick's just oh, standing there menacing. We just buried it. Yep. I was talking about oh, that before the, he edge guarded oh him. Oh my god. He gets oh, the no. knee, gets the grab, trying to find a back here. Here, super familiar situation. Doesn't actually get it, but still in a really good position. Putting pressure, keeping him on that ledge, but Gabby's able to find his way out. PJ, what's happening, man? It's, it's hard. I feel like... Um, Andrik is catching on to Gappy's habit of swinging off of the ledge. You saw there, he tried to jab check it. If Andrik can be consistent at just punishing that, where he's like, I know you're going to swing off the ledge, it can be very advantageous. But even the frame trap there, you air dodge through the thunder, you still get hit with a grab, but doesn't find the subsequent hit. And now you have Andrik back center stage here on PS2. Ooh, the dash attack, though. Back in the corner. The disadvantage stage for both of these players have been really good this last stock. They're really respecting each other in neutral. Even though Andrick is an entire stock up, he's playing like it's a last stock scenario right now, which is, I really respect. Yeah. That shows a lot of respect to Gappy as well. Yeah. But the shoulder check dash attack is going to take the first game here. In the set. It, you know, that that edge guard surprised me. Definitely caught the two frame off that down there. And yeah, twice. Again. Yeah, twice. Yeah, that's that's not easy to yeah. do. Like that, that side B hitbox is really, it's pretty disjointed, I think. So you have to wait for the hitbox to end and then stop it. It's very, very hard timing. He's nuts. He's nuts, man. I mean, he like he got the lazy drift away. A lot of floaty characters will kind of drift down in a way and be like, I'm not going to get stomped. Oh, wait, he did get stomped. And then he was just like, well, now that you have one way to get back to the ledge, I'll just hit the two stomps. That was ridiculous. I His flowchart's insane. I Who has a Sora flowchart as Falcon? I guess Andrick does. Ridiculous. Andrick's a player of gut. He's crazy, he, man. He just plays with his, his gut. That's just how it plays. It's insane. Sora. It's insane. He's just he's just putting it down, man. He he just knows. I love this guy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a big fan. <laughs> he made me he made me and uh, Xbox lose our yeah. voice. So yeah, I mean, he's, very rightfully he's so. Crazy. He's insane. Game number two. Let's get it. Gappy versus Andrick. Gappy, man. I'm I became a fan of Gappy today too, though. Keeping it somewhat close here in the first game. Definitely could do it again in this game, too. Playing the edge a little bit better. Really racking up percent on Andrick right now. I think he's able to do some uh, magic here, don't you think? No, I think so, too. The mad Disney magic here. We're going to get the stream taken down. <laughs> I should have said that. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> We're going to get Disney nin ninja. Gets the down throw, gets the up air. Andrick just continually trying to juggle. And <sighs> That was ridiculous. That, had, that, that was because of bad option, right? Yeah. That, that was uh, that was mashing 
the air dodge there? Yeah, That's mashing, what got the, yeah, mashing yeah. the air dodge. You can't do that. And it's something that Andrik will, will set up for really, really well because he's just so consistent at hitting you with up airs. And you see that from Gappy now, the adaptation saying, I'm not even going to give you an opportunity to side me. Riding the ledge, just holding on. That, that was good recovery. Oh, no, that's it. That's a stock. The side blast zones on Town and City and the lightness of Sora, and that was ridiculous. Well, how is he comboing Sora so well? He stomps. He'll stomp the whole roster. That's the thing with this guy. He doesn't care at all. Look at him. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, wait, wait, wait a minute, Gappy. You know, he's like, okay, I'm not going to give you all the clips. The four there able there to take go. it. But Gappy Andrew, on the board. Gappy's on the board, but Andrik, you know, we saw what he was doing. He was playing that, like you said, he was playing it like a last stock situation. So he's probably going to be respecting Gappy here a little bit more. Jeez. Oh, the drop. That was sick. The drop down uh, uh, up air. That was yeah. super cool. Super active hitbox. You get a lot of mix-ups with it, too. And look, he's keeping it a really nice advantage state right now. Oh, but Andrik was able to get out oh. of it with the signature up air chain. And he's looking for a bad option here. Doesn't find it. Wait. They're out of shield. Just reset the situation. Doesn't even go for the uppie that may or may not hit Oh, him. attack! Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Andrik finding the stop on it. We were talking about him not edge guarding, but he is consistently finding these stops on the side B. I kind of want to see Gappy maybe going for up B instead, but I feel like even up B has a bigger blind spot than side B. I mean, you saw there, Andrik even just traded with it and won. I don't know. Can you side B into up B, or do you have to up B first? You have to up B into side B. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Because it makes you very linear, because your up B will just send you straight up. If you could do, like, side B and go, like, crazy horizontal and then up B, be ridiculous. Are you free fall after side B? Uh, yes, you are. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you're not in free fall after, after up, up B. B. Yeah. yeah no. It's like... Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> these fucking Soras. Soras ridiculous, Doing dude. these things. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, this is a uh, like insane. Uh, Andrik's just—he's the loser's demon that no one was ready for. Maybe Andrik just wanted more games. Who knows? He's like, <laughs> I need to practice comboing on these weird weights um, it, at Land Hero, and yeah, it works out. It's a Monday night, boy. We have to go to work. I know you're working here, but damn, crazy. Oh, jeez, Gappy only getting the one side B. I don't know if that's fear or trying to like delay the side B so that he doesn't line up for the stomp, but. Gappy getting a little combo going with the Nair there, the Nair loops, the noops. That's what Sorbi calls it. It's terrible. The name. noops? The noops, Nair loops. That's awful. It's very bad. That's I don't like that one. at all. <laughs> that's that's so <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, that's awful. Oh, Gappy, he's been getting he was getting those uh, two frame uh, four tilts really well, but Andrew just mixing up the recovery just well enough and up air Nair. He died at seventy six. Yeah. Yeah. The rage. Um, this is an FD blast zone, so it's not like it's ridiculously small slide blast zones like we saw in Town and City. It's just Andrik, like very, like really drifting all the way out to confirm the kill on the knee. Oh, or on the uh, nair, I should say. Sorry. With the up air, Gappy's just unable to find a stock here. But yeah, they're able to get the nair one two into the up air. Yeah, you get the nair one two, and then you get the uh, landing up air. Shout out to Skyji in the chat. The Mexican, the Mexican fans, the Mexico fans out here. Oh man, Gappy's just putting on the percent though. He's trying to make it a little bit more even. I feel like he's been doing this. He could, oh, I thought he was gonna get. Try to go for it. But Andrik, I think it's smart. He didn't burn the double jump until he got hit by a, a move off stage. This is where Gappy was comfortable. I was gonna say, Gappy's really comfortable in that ledge situation. Maybe he can find himself and squeeze it back where he needs to go. And he's doing a really good job getting these hits, putting pressure on the shield, putting Falcon in that corner. But Andrik is going to fight back with the back air now. Familiar territory here. Oh, didn't get the gentleman. That's not going to kill. Tracking on the percent here. Maybe a, a gentleman might do it now. I'm not sure what percent that's going to be able to take it on Hollow Bastion. The but back air. The signature back air. Fa and, and feints the Nair to drift facing the other way. And it kind of looks like... Um, Andrik's going to disengage, but instead he just jump back airs. Like, mm. it's just a lot of that came down to, like, Gappy being uncomfortable at the ledge, which is weird to say because he's Sora, but I feel like he was hitting a lot of buttons off the ledge, Nair, forward air, side Bs, and then he just got hit by Andrik. 